Do you want to see a magic trick? Now you see me. Now you don't. I don't know if you knew, but R14A is going away. It's not happening in a week, but it's actually coming faster than you think. January 2024 is when they do another drop in production of 30%. Actually, I can show you a chart that shows the progress of the ramp down on production of 14A. And I'm gonna put it around here somewhere. It's gonna be a chart and you can see there the 30% drop. That's just happening next year. Yes, I understand it is annoying. I don't think there's much we can do about it. This is happening as we phase out from refrigerants that are actually hurting the environment at a higher level than other options. The best thing we can do is educate ourselves and try to learn as much as we can because that's just how it goes. In the air conditioning industry, we're not strange to changes. Everything is changing all the time. Yes, R410A is going the way of R22. I don't have to tell you how that went down. The first thing that's probably gonna happen next year is that the price of R410A is gonna shoot up to the sky. As a matter of fact, I have some friends in the industry and they told me this last summer, R410A was very expensive. Some of the concerns are whether the new refrigerants are flammable or not. Semi-flammable, extremely flammable, kind of. And to answer your question, are they flammable? And, um, uh, Yes, no, maybe, sort of, kind of. And I'm sorry that I have to reply the question that way because it has to be done in a very specific way. And there are some parameters that you have to have in order to, for that to happen. And I, I'm just like you, I'm curious. I want to know whether or not I can use the same tools or the same procedures. Can you pull a regular vacuum? Can you use a torch? Can you not use a torch? What are the, how do you go about it? That's why at ESCO, we're putting out, out as much information as we can in terms of books, videos, we have the interviews, we have the Did You Know, the ESCO HVAC show with Clifton Beck, the one and only. We are trying to put everybody on the same page and to get as educated as like we can with the new refrigerants coming out. And that is why I'm gonna show you this. We have this awesome book right here low GWP refrigerant safety. It was written by my good friend, Jason. Uh, his last name, I won't be able to pronounce that. I'm sorry, Jason. He's a smart cookie. He's one of the, he put this thing together along with the team. Part of the deal is to bring everything that you need to get started with the new refrigerants coming out. There's plenty of information here. As a matter of fact, it's showing here the experiments they've done with when trying to light the refrigerants on fire, basically. The book is kind of thin. You'll be pretty happy to get one of these ones. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna put a link on uh, the description below. This, well, of course, is gonna be a link there. And I, I may even have a QR code that I'm gonna post around here so you're free to scan it. Should I just stand here for a little bit like this? If that wasn't enough, we actually created a blog where you can go and find a bunch of information for free. And the blog is a2L.factcheck. A2L factcheck. A2L factcheck.com. Blogspot. Blog. A2L factcheck. Blogspot.com. First try. Last but not least, you can go to our website, escogroup.org. You click on training, and it's right there. This is the first one on the left hand side. We have the low GWP uh, safety book with it go down there and check it out as usual thank you for checking the video out we are esco are more than happy to support the techs out there again we're trying to put a bunch of content one of the next things coming up is going to be the cold climate heat pumps no they are not the same as the heat pumps that we've been working on for the last 20 30 years yes heat pumps have been around for a long time you don't want to miss it so just keep an eye on the channel as usual you can find us on facebook linkedin instagram TikTok. The, the whole, all the social medias. So drop by down there, show us some love, leave us a comment down there below. And again, I'll see you on the next one.